Gaffer, looking ahead to the Oxford United game tomorrow night, the first home game of your area, you must be looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, yeah. We've had tremendous support. The fans have been amazing. You know, I think we've gone on a massive recruitment drive, you know, since we've been at the club. But the biggest recruitment that we've made is the support. The support of the town, the, uh, the support of the fans themselves in and the stadium. And it was amazing on Saturday being over at Rotherham, you know, uh, you know, being in front of those die-hard supporters. And it'll be brilliant, uh, you know, on Tuesday night to represent those supporters who supported us, you know, at, at a home game. Yeah, you must be looking forward to a similar level of support. I mean, looking back at the last home game, the Bradford City game in the Leasing.com trophy, it was 9,000 of them there. That's magnificent. Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Uh, there's a real support now for the football club and its venture, its voyage into the, the next era. You know, and, and the supporters, like I previously said, that was our biggest recruitment. You know, not the centre forward, not the central defender the midfield player, the full-back, the supporters, the fans, massive recruitment drive, and they can carry us, you know, on this journey. You know, it's going to be a difficult journey, but they understand that. They're going to re represent our fa values. They're going to re represent me and, uh, you know, my Boltonian birth, and, and we're going to strive to make this club great again. It's obviously a gradual process to get the team up to speed. Will another game so soon help us to do that? I hope so. Uh, the fitness levels of the players are nowhere near, but that's not because they don't want to be. That's as, with respect to circumstances of, you know, the players not playing, not doing a, a, an adequate pre-season, uh, not knowing where the home is. Now they've got a home, they've got a base, and it's progression. Uh, and progression will come as a result of playing games, training, playing games, but clear messages that are going to be delivered by me and my staff on how we want to play the game. I exposed us on Saturday to the way that I want to play the game. Um, we set up to win, uh, not particularly overly concerned looking at the scoreboard. I'm not mad. Some of the processes that we went to or went through exposed our team. Other, in another way, you know, we didn't sit back and defend our own half of the pitch. I tried to play football on the whole of the pitch with a, a defensive and attacking strategy. We made individual mistakes that we know we have to improve on, but those individual mistakes will become better managed because of players' fitness is improving, which gives clarity, you know, concentration levels. But we exposed the players in a different way. We didn't go to lose the game by sitting deep and allowing the opponent to attack, almost defence for the attack for 90 minutes. So we exposed them a different way and it exposed them individually and it exposed them with respect to units. Now we've got to find the balance. And the players, we have to progress on our fitness drive. We have to do, the, the league is a quick league. It's a relentless league. It's a league of hardened professionals and we've got to get there quickly. And there might be more hurt. But we got good gains on Saturday, really good gains. From a possession perspective, we got a handsome amount of possession. The percentage of actual pass completion or possession regains and play was far too low. So again, that comes down to fitness, concentration, technical ability, you know, but actually looking at the, the jigsaw, I'm not emotionally concerned by the scoreline or the the scoreboard. I'm looking at the processes that we have to go through, which we've delivered, and where we are now after a week's training, and where we are after that game one. And the scoreboard is of no consequence to me. I'm looking at a drive. I'm looking at you know the first part of the journey. I'm looking at trying to establish an identity, an ethos that the players will know inside and out, and they'll be fit enough to actually uh, play to and that will be inspiring for the, the supporters long term. The latest addition to the squad, Adam Chickson, announced on Saturday, came in and played the full 90 minutes on Saturday. What can you tell us about him? It was a necessity to get a, a, a left back in. Uh, again, no training time, no game time. Uh, and I thought till last 90 minutes was you know, a testament to his character. Um, he's coming cold um, and again, the way that we actually tried to play, 
I didn't want to expose too many of the kids to the way that we wanted to play against a Royal Marine side in, uh, in Rotherham. Uh, because it wasn't a question of just defending deep, defending deep, defending deep. We wanted to be on our front foot, you know, making the angles, but then looking at uh, how our fitness lasted. Uh, but with respect to Adam Chickson, it's a 90 minute game under his belt where he'll improve. And along with him, there was players on that pitch who we've looked at the data and they've blown up after 55, 60 minutes. Um, you know, mentally as well, fatigued. And that's where mistakes come in. And the players themselves know, and I know, that they'll grow and they'll become better established because of the fitness levels in making better decisions. So then it'll result in less mistakes and less goals against. We're of course up against Carl Robinson's Oxford United tomorrow night. What are you expecting from them? Good side, established. I think he's been there two and a half, three seasons now to sign a new contract. So the recovery is in progress and uh, you know uh, it, it's a fixture that we're looking forward to. But we're using it to help us, aid us, implement what it is we're trying to achieve. And like I said, small gains, but we have to go through the methodology of keep, you know, handing out those small, concise, precise messages of what we have to do and make sure that we're seeing those progresses. We can't be sidetracked, roadworks and a diversion because of the emotional you know, uh, impacts of the scoreboard. And the players have got to remain focused, got to remain calm, got to know that they're working towards you know, uh, stability. And it's not been created yet, you know, from a football perspective, the club's stable, football's perspective and footballing you know, strategies, we have to keep improving. And we do not rip the plan up because we've been beaten. We were defeated on Saturday, we weren't beaten. A few players, of course, missed out on the Rotherham game, one of them being Harry Brockbank, who believes out for the short-term future at least. How? What's the condition of the squad looking like? Thin, uh, but it's something that we have to deal with. It represents an opportunity for another player. And uh, it was late notice Saturday because we had Ill illness in the camp. Uh, we have trained reasonably hard for 10 days uh, leading into the Saturday's game so we're making players vulnerable uh, because we have to the games are making them vulnerable uh, different training methods and unfortunately for Harry Brockbank it was a result of his over enthusiasm and wanting to do more his attitude's been amazing uh, and attitude reflects leadership and it's Unfortunate that he's chose to do a little extra in pursuit of trying to improve himself, uh, which is a massive game for me, but short term a massive loss because his attitude has been exceptional. And a lot of players' attitudes have been. And we've lost four or five significant players in the space of recruiting to performing on Saturday against Rotherham. That's always going to be the case with a manager managers up and down the country and it was the case on Saturday but it represented an opportunity to us have a look and we have to improve on that but from an injury perspective I can't choose or select so I am not going to cause a constant headache for the physio he'll lead me these players keep fit now to come and train with you then we have to get them up to speed on the training uh, ground and on the training pitches to make an impact on the league and on the league games and the league position that we find ourselves in.